Welcome back to At Home with Roby. I'm Patrick McIsaac, president of Roby Electric, along with Trent Haston, president and CEO of the Roby family of companies. Of course, we are your host. Today is Mother's Day. Glad to be here. And we have the famous Janine Devaney in the house. Janine, put you on the spot a little bit, okay? Yes. During the break, we talked a little bit about your relationship with Trent, and of course, his father and his grandfather. And you kind of reminisce on the first time you met Trent. And, and what, what was Trent doing? I met Trent. He was a teenager at the time, and he was um, working demo on one of the projects, and I guess he was driving the truck. He was allowed to drive the truck to haul the trash. He was a good son. <laughs> I was a veteran by that time, you know? I think we have a company policy now that, it, 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 that we can't drive the big, big old trucks as teenagers anymore, but uh, not that we're teenagers, but that was probably before we, that policy came out, huh, Trent? I don't know, man. I, are you sure about that policy? <laughs> You're over there on the electrical side. You don't have any dump trucks, but I'm pretty sure those teenagers still drive dump trucks. So. <laughs> I wasn't driving the dump truck when I was 14 when I started. You know, when your I family owns cool. a business, you can start at 14. Okay. And all my high school buddies uh, then at 16 joined joined the workforce, and I was the veteran. Uh, but I tell the story, I was making – Minimum wage four twenty five at the time. Uh, go look that up. And uh, and my dad hired you know all my high school buddies, and we were all three making four twenty five. And I was uh, pulling the dump, driving a dump truck with my two buddies, pulling the bobcat, shooting foundations off and digging foundations. Uh, and my dad was paying us a total of sixteen seventy five. You know, I mean, <laughs> and, and and the and the and the the poor poor man wasn't. I guarantee you wasn't making any money on us. He, he that's just how he was. You know, he was working us. He was more concerned about working us. But I'm but I'm very fortunate for that uh, that experience and and that time. I mean, it's funny, Janine. You you you, you say that, and that was about the time when I was. It took me a couple of years and and starting to make a little bit of money and, and saving a little bit of money to start being intrigued on, on more of the the managerial side of the business. And, and about 16, when I was driving around town, I started noticing uh, yard signs and, and whose signs were paired with our signs and whose signs were at houses where we were not at. Yep. And uh, the nicer the house, I want to know whose sign it was. And, and that is when I started asking Dad, what architects, what designers we work with, who did we like to work with? And, and I've told this story before you've been on the show, but and this is the truth. And he said, he, he said, Janine Devaney, and I said, who's that? And he said, she is the boss lady. She, she's that good. And I said, okay, well, what do you mean? He said, I'm just telling you. That's just what you got to remember, boy. <laughs> and... uh <laughs> And it, then, then later to hear, you know, I mean, I, I, th- I think you've told me in, in in more recent years that that you came to town. Dad kind of told me that, and in the early '80s, I think it was '81. Uh, you came to town, and and we we did our first job together. Yep, you, you and it was with your fa- your grandfather, grandfather. Yeah. yeah, Glenn. So, uh, yeah, that was uh, that's good good times. I, I mean, I'm could not be more proud that. Still today in 2017, uh, we share so much business together, and we're we're so ingrained in in our partnership, and uh, it, it's 100 percent because we do do right by each other and by our clients. That's right. That's right. And it's um, not just you know building a, a house; it's uh, building relationships and providing the the kind of um, design and planning and then the quality workmanship i always say you, you can have a a great uh plan and a crappy build and you don't have anything or you can have a, a really bad design and a great construction you don't have anything but when you pair great design and great construction i mean then you've got something there well you know our 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 logo on our custom residential side our traditional business is 67 years old our logo is is a perfect triangle and we say it all the time it stands for the relationship between the the design team the designer the homeowner and the builder and and Andrew Roby's principle is we're not design build because we think that goes to an artist that designs it. We're not artists. We're builders. We're brick and mortar. We, we get the job done, and we try to perfect. We're working, trying uh, to improve every day on, on the process of construction and hire the right talent. 
And we think if you design build, our opinion is you lose some of the quality of the design. Well, at that point, the budget's driving the design, yep. and I don't think the design should either drive the budget as well. But what happens is when we get a great design that gets approved, um, primarily the budget gets approved, the, the quote gets approved, then during the construction, it's so awesome that your foreman, your superintendents call me to ensure the, that we maintain the integrity of the design in every aspect from framing to the the total finish out that um, what what we have drawn and what, our drawings are very very specific at from from the engineering all the way through you know tile designs and cabinet designs and everything no you're right and, and right I, I tell people all the time if some if I was design building somebody gave me a budget I could design I could sell every job we could our, uh, as a company but then <laughs> every job wouldn't be quality I don't think from, the clients, from an architectural or design standpoint and the clients aren't getting what exactly what they want at yeah. that point it's, it's sort of being driven by you the design build contractor um, Janine obviously your company Charlotte environments and we were here on Mother's Day and uh, some of the notes that, that we talked about beforehand what what is cool I mean it, what, what, what is going on in, in the life of the mother, as you're seeing it in the design world? Well, I will say that I actually have gotten a few contracts just because I am a woman, because <laughs> I've that. been talking to Ms. Homeowner, and mm-hmm. she's talking to me about her needs, wants, and desires, her kids' requirements, the, you know, the dump zone, the, you know, she's, she is a cook, she isn't a cook, she entertains, she, you know, whatever. And I'm, it's, it's all those soft requirements that I get because I am a woman, I was, I am a mom, I am a wife, I am a professional, you know, and so I understand the, the dynamics of how a home has to respond to um, family living, casual entertaining, formal entertaining, holidays, you know, indoor cooking and outdoor cooking and all this, and I translate that those requirements into bricks and sticks. Now, the men like to talk about the bricks and sticks and the beams and all that sort of thing, but... I I talk about requirements and to meet and so I get the the Miss Homeowners um, confidence very early on that I I understand her needs wants and desires and I can translate it that into a floor plan and into a, into a final her home. Well, it, and we and we talk about that on the show a lot. I mean, it's it's amazing how few women are in our industry. And obviously, you know, our involvement with Nary and Trent's involvement with the HBA, we're trying to get that awareness out to the younger folks that hey, this is a cool industry to be in. It's a big opportunity for women. For exactly what you just mentioned, um, the, the past chairman of the board, chairwoman of the board for Nary National is a woman named Judy Mosen out of Atlanta, and she's a big advocate for this because there is such an opportunity and because that that easy easy to come by dialogue you you, you mentioned. Um, so what what are you seeing? I mean, are we, you're, you said what is it? What is a dump zone? A <laughs> dump zone? Well, that's when um, you walk <laughs> in the back door, and um, you know the kids have all their book bags and their sports equipment, and once they walk in, it falls out of their hands into a big pile. Shoes. <laughs> that's a big one. So you know you, we've seen the um, there's been a lot in garage uh, organization leave some of it outside in the garage, a lot of the sports equipment, but some of it has to come in, charging stations, computers, laptops, and that sort of thing. So you see the lockers with um, Locker. outlets okay. in them so that the kids, you know, it's it's about training your kids. If you don't train them, they will be slobs. So <laughs> if you train them, this is where you, this is what you do. You put your things here. You go wash your hands. You get a snack. Let's, you know, you run out to play, go to the bathroom, go, you know, sit at the counter, have a snack. Let's do your homework, spelling words or whatever it is that we're going to do. Yeah. But you start training them uh, when they get home that this is, um, you know, I'm, I used to say, you know, in the old days, you know, the women, um, you know, had maids, but now we are the maid. Right. So, you know, um, we may have, you know, convenience appliances and that sort of thing, but you still have to load them up. So, and also I always say, you know, dishwashers are down under the counter because that's where children can load them. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like that. <laughs> that, that, that that's uh, that's good. a good point. Uh, can you stick around? we got to roll out of this segment. Can you hang out and sure. continue your conversation about dishwashers' kids? And I know you have have, have a couple uh, lovely daughters of your own, and you're a proud mom on Mother's Day. So we'll continue the conversation when we return. Okay, thank you. We'll be right back. <laughs> 